I'm Sang Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. As you guys know, I'm making hotel edition of Asian at Home because our new house we just purchased is building right now. So until then, I'm going to film in Asian at Home in hotel room. And today, I'm going to show you the simple, the easiest way to make spicy pork with sempio. Let's get started. What you need first is to make the marinade sauce. So you need eight cloves of scallion, finely chopped. Add into your marinade bowl one red chili. If you like more spicy, you can add more. Two green onion, cut in half, keep the green for later. And chop really finely the white part, white and light green part. Add one onion very thinly sliced. So now it's time to add all our seasonings. We will need some sempio soy sauce. This sempio ganjang is such a deep, deep flavor. It's just so delicious. You will need two tablespoons of ganjang, five to six tablespoons of gochujang, sempio gochujang. This is amazing sauce that you don't need a lot of other ingredients to make this spice but really delicious because it's already savory, slightly sweet, slightly tangy, spicy, lots of deep flavor as you know my mouth is already watery when I'm just talking about it. Three tablespoons of mirin, Korean red pepper flakes, gochugaru. This is optional if you want to add you can add for more more reddish color and more spiciness. About a tablespoon and sesame seeds. When you add sesame seed you can just crush it with your finger. About a teaspoon of sesame seeds, a tablespoon of sesame oil, with a pinch of salt and some black pepper. If you want to, you can add a tablespoon of apple juice or you can substitute mirin as apple juice too if you like to, alright? Now I'm going to add my pork into this delicious spiciness Korean spicy sauce. Put the sliced pork right on top of the marinade sauce and spoon it, the sauce on top of it, just like so. I'm using pork butt which is very very thinly cut. Pork butt is the most popular uh, cut of pork that use Korean spice pork. And if you like to, you can add a little mushroom to the spicy pork, which is delicious. I'm using this king oyster mushrooms. Put on top of the marinated pork. Add your pork that we marinated earlier into cold pan that haven't heated up yet. Turn on the heat now and spread your pork really well because they are thin cuts. The sauce is based on gochujang. You have to cook it from the cold pan. If not, you're just gonna burn it everything before everything cooked through. All right, that is the key. When it starts simmering like this, you start to have to keep moving them around. At one point, they are going to get a little soupy and stewy like so. You just have to keep cooking it on high heat until all the moisture is evaporated. If you want a little brown the up part, spread it out evenly and do not stir and let it cook about a minute. Turn off the heat. Finish up the spicy pork. I'm just going to cut some green onion into diagonal angle. It just looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Top with some green onion and a little bit of sesame seeds. Teaspoon of sesame oil on top of it. <laughs> spicy, spicy pork. The best way to serve spicy pork is definitely with fresh greens that you can wrap it up this spice pork with yummy rice and we call it this is sam s s a m sam into my mouth into my tummy
It's really, really good. <laughs> if you really like my Korean spicy pork, the easiest, simplest recipe with Sempyo, give me thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and idea of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Sanggyeong Longguest, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time. Bye. Mm.